Hey, this is the Sporting Tribune today, of course, brought to you by the good folks at Your Way Breakfast and Lunch with the cheap plug. And we just talked to Willie G. Ramirez. It was his first time on the podcast, but joining us now is the first veteran of the show because she's been on it like three or four times. She's been a part of the bonus episodes. Like she's practically a damn co-host. Shandrima Chatterjee joins us. Did I get the pronunciation right finally? Yes, yes. New year, new new you. I love it. Let's love it. go. Uh, joining us on behalf of CBS Sports, Women United, and of course here at the Sporting Tribune. Shandrima, first and foremost, how are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. How like, Excitement level? Where are we at right now? MLS is about to begin. It's, 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 it's so new. It's so expanded. It's kind of terrifying. Uh, I'm excited, anxious, ready to go, you know? So we are what about eh, T minus less than 30 hours when this drops, if you're tuned in here on Friday, um, when we drop the episodes, or if you're listening on the weekend, the games have already begun. Um, there's a lot to get into. We don't have that much time. So my first question is, this is the first year of Apple TV. Which, it's interesting because Bally Sports, which covers a lot of different leagues and a lot of regional teams throughout the country, um, they are about to go bankrupt, which a lot of teams are upset because obviously these TV contracts kind of pay for, in baseball, pays a a bunch of the roster and and the players and in basketball as well. And when I saw the deal, I thought that's interesting that each team is, is kind of they're not going to have the opportunity to negotiate with people and it's just going to be a lump sum and it's going to be on Apple TV and that's it for you. Is it, was this a positive thing going to Apple TV or a negative one? Oh, professionally, I'd say positive. Um, actually, and personally too. Um, I actually, have you checked it out at all? I just signed up for the season pass. Um, was watching a few of the episodes. Of course I watched, uh, Taylor and Jill do their LA Galaxy, LAFC previews. They're very short, but very cute. I like them. Um, I actually really like that it's kind of all organized under one umbrella now, and you can go and like select the teams that you want to follow, and you'll get their news, their highlights, their games, you know, all kind of like catered to you. So in a way, I like it. And I already had Apple TV, so I was already a fan of Apple TV um, you know, there were some things that I, I was kind of confused by, and I'll just openly say, I don't know why Max isn't calling El Trafico this Saturday. It was a little sad to see that. So, you know, on a, a professional level, I think he was, he was the natural for that. Um, I know he'll do well wherever he goes, but, um, yeah, I, that was my only disappointment there. Sometimes who they chose to go where, um, I know they know what they're doing, but uh, yeah, there were there was some 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 things I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Well, well, it's one thing that I didn't think about that, like, OK, so now it's all on Apple TV, which means they have to dictate who's going to call who and and things like that, which is something that wasn't at the top of the mind when you see the headline. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, st- I have been kind of reporting, if you will, on MLS since, oh my God, 2012. Um, And I've grown accustomed to certain faces and voices representing certain teams. And so it will be interesting to see that all switch around. It's kind of going to be telling for how, how, uh, how well they research uh, their, their stuff, you know? So we'll see, they have to win the fans over. That's the biggest thing, right? So let's see how the fans no and this is going to be a huge step because this is this may be what is going to happen in the future because like i said bally's is bankrupt mlb the nfl is going to youtube tv with the sunday ticket like a lot of things are changing and it might be where it's pay for watch you pay for one game two bucks three bucks four Mm -hmm. bucks or you pay the big package to get all the games so this might be the future so this might be the test run you will with mls and apple tv um, and from there, let's get to the actual, the pitch. Did I use the term right? The pitch, the field. Wrong yeah. Wait, the pitch isn't, <laughs> no, no, the pitch is not what they call in Europe, the field in soccer. Oh well, yeah. We're in America though. I have to, I have to say. But this podcast is available worldwide on Spotify. Baseball here. 
<laughs> no, see, you're just a Dodgers fan. We're worldwide, no, no, though, no. Sandrine. Look. It's just MLS and MLB kind of premiere at the same time every year. So it's always this, you know, battle that's, for. That's true. Well, the soccer field. Let's get on to <laughs> the soccer field. Um, the kickoff. Great, the kickoff. Yes. What are some of the major storylines that you're going to be paying attention to league wide as the new season begins? League wide, uh, well, I definitely am paying most attention to LA because that's where I'll be um, focused. Um, so Galaxy, uh, LAFC, or the big headline um, rivalry match this Saturday at none other than the Rose Bowl, which was a beautiful, beautiful idea. Um, I think that if if the weather had only cooperated with all of us, we would all be there, and all eighty thousand seats would be filled. Um, I, I am really looking forward to seeing just how many galaxy fans show up. Now you've heard all of the, the news surrounding, um, the fan supporter bases and groups boycotting galaxy matches. You maybe have seen some of the protests that have been going on during the friendlies this past month. Maybe you haven't. For, for um, those that haven't, you just quickly, what are you touching base on? Oh my God, Chris Klein. Uh, <clears throat> so, so without without saying too much about how I feel about it, um, he was penalized by MLS for breaking some rules. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to let you guys research that whole thing yeah no i'm gonna let you, you okay the okay whole thing. i know you some homework adrian i know you know anyway um i told you i was gonna be succinct this time so so not not too much you know back stuff i got you i got you i got you look chris klein out has been a message that the fans have been touting for a few years now um now that the 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 team the franchise itself was publicly bashed for breaking rules um and they still didn't fire him um i understand why the supporters are upset i I, as as a former supporter myself i i i feel that i feel that for them um and i do think a fresh start would be great for the whole franchise but that's not happening you know, instead, the the team has chose the the franchise has chosen to kind of go quiet and dark about that, um, renew his contract in silence, and just move on as though nothing has happened. Um, Which is always I, great. <laughs> it's always great. I think it'll work in America. I think if this was in you know Great Britain uh, with a with an English Premier League team, it would not work. Um, I think the this really is unfortunately going to show a couple of things, just how, like what the supporter groups here really are and also what they aren't, um, which is we're, we're still new to this whole sport. We're still new to having supporter groups, you know, really be a part, a really, really deep ingrained part of the, of the franchise. And they just don't hold the kind of power in 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 this country in this league especially so i just want to see who shows up and uh i think it's gonna they're gonna turn it into a non-issue um other storylines um for both teams we're both missing a designated player there's only two for each so far so they have they have the space and capacity to, to build on that um they're both kind of starting over i know that you know one is the you know reigning champions and and they're kind of like you know, they're like the 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 big man in town now. Yeah, right? we're still they're here. We're still here. We didn't do it. nothing. Got you. Yeah, and they they love that. They love that role. They really do. They're relishing it, and they're doing it so well. And they're growing with every year. They're changing things. You know, they're not just relying on one. You know, one uh, formula, one one secret formula to win. Um, I do want to see how how their new players fill fill out the roster and like how things go replacing Chicho. Um, who was, you know, so integral to their, their victory. Um, Galaxy, you know, they have nothing, nowhere to go, but up at this point. So we'll be interesting to see how that plays out. In terms of, from a league perspective, who do you think had the best off season? Best off season? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, Best in terms of 
transactions. Yeah, and kind of like they've made themselves a contender or they, you know, made themselves stronger heading into this year. Um, I actually I really like um I, I really like LAFC. I, I think that instead of resting on their their laurels um and keeping things the same, they're they're changing things up, going actually for a younger younger group looking more towards legacy than than just like a, a couple, you know, good years. So I, I'm going to stick with us here in LA. Worst off season in the league. I mean, that one's obvious. I'm sorry, LA galaxy like that. It, yeah. It's, it's so obvious. Yeah. You know, not, a, not enough. They haven't done enough in terms of transactions. Um, what it's, it's really they have two new uh guys in the midfield that are both only in in uh contract for under contract for a year. Uh, I found that really bizarre. Um Chicharito may not be playing um at the Rose Bowl this Saturday due to a continuing like possible hamstring injury. You know, we we saw him um earlier this month at, at Coachella. Uh not the music the venue but well at the music venue but a a, a soccer a soccer team. event <laughs> yeah um, we saw him there for a few minutes and then he hobbled off um and that was like what? uh and then you know again this past monday after practice uh hobbling off holding his you know so he's after- still yeah, so he's yeah. still he's still hurt and we don't know yeah so the the marquee player really you know, and, and who's his backup? It's like crickets. So, yeah. um, I do look forward to seeing Ricky, Ricky Poosh a lot. I don't know if you know that guy, but he's someone to watch if you haven't already. Uh, All right, put that, we'll put that name down. Okay. We got one. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So he's gonna, he's gonna really, you know, be important for them the same way. I think actually that, that Chicho Arango was for LAFC. Um, but I, I do think you need, you need a, somebody to step up and, and if Chicharito is not able to do that, that's, that's really unfortunate for everybody, you know. Shandrima, it's time to get very serious. Oh, that was serious though. No, no, I know, but it's time to get super serious because it's time for predictions. Are you ready? For the whole year? Yes. Are you ready? No. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. (laughs) I need a champion prediction. Who is going to win it all in the MLS this year? Oh my God, that was too. You did. You got to prepare me for this. She's mm. like, you, you didn't email me questions before. I didn't. I'm sorry. I actually no. Didn't. I, I mean, I was. I was like all LA. Um. Wow. I think I'm gonna. I can't believe I'm gonna do. I don't want to say it. Say it. New York. Okay. All right. You don't want to you don't want to show any love to the East Coast. All right. All right. Fair enough. No, MVP. I did. That was that was love. That was that was love. No, that but was- I'm saying you didn't you didn't want to do that, but you did it because you're real and, and you're good at your job. So you said what the truth is in your prediction. NYC. Yeah, NYCFC. Yeah, I, re- I respect um, it. Not, not to be confused with the Red Bulls. I don't know if that's right. And and I feel like you I'm totally putting myself out there and I'm I'm not gonna be right on this. I, I know it's not gonna be LAFC. I know it's not gonna be the galaxy. So well, whatever damn. you just did, freezing cold takes has this video proof of whatever happens later oh this year. We'll see God. what happens. Well, who do you uh, think is gonna be the the winner? I'm going with what you're saying. This is how this works, Shandrima. You're here and you're a vessel for soccer knowledge that I then learn. And I, I just try, I'm just trying to be a sponge here. I ask the questions around here. I don't very rarely make any predictions. It's a heady career play that I do, but I like it. Um, MVP predictions. Who's winning the uh, MVP this year? Oh my God. So that's interesting because, you know, when Thorrington was questioned about what was missing or what's missing now for LAFC's little trophy case, two things came up, right? And and Vela has already been MVP before. So it's not that, you know, but but Chicho didn't get it, um, which was kind of interesting. And that came up in the conference, as did Coach of the Year. So wow. That's a great question. Uh, Thank oh you. my! I actually, 
you know what? A couple things. I do think, I do think if, if Ricky keeps going and I think that he will, he could, he could easily do it this time. And I really want to, I really want to root for, our, for LA, both LA franchises. Um, we haven't been able to tell via this interview at all. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. It happens. You got teams to pick. Um, speaking of teams to pick, you might have another team in the future that you could pick. Um, mm-hmm. because obviously MLS Commissioner Don Garber earlier this week did his, I guess we'll call it the State of the Union regarding the MLS. And of course, someone asked about expansion and what's been rumored for quite a while. Um, actually came out of his mouth where he said, yes, we were trying to get a 30th team, if not a whole bunch more. But as mm-hmm. far as the 30th team, he, he gave out two top choices, San yes. Diego, Las mm-hmm. Vegas. Um, yeah. For you, do you have a preference? How do you feel like this is going to play out? So State of the Union was last month, but I'll, it's okay. It's okay. I thought he talked earlier this week. He talks about it all the time. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. I just okay. Yeah, fair enough. Thank okay. You. No, it's okay. But I oh man, this is okay. Seriously. I I mean, I for money reasons, I think it's gonna be Vegas. Um that's you guys are taking everything. Uh, you know. I hear, I hear it, through it, the grapevine that I mean it is. It, it's where the money's to it's where the money's at, it's where the fun's at. I get it. Um, but that being said, San Diego, and they actually played a friendly against, uh, LAF, uh, sorry, LA galaxy just what last week. Um, very cute to watch. <laughs> um, wait, not LA galaxy, LAFC. Sorry. Sorry about that. Why was it cute? Um, just cause it was just the, like a lower league team trying it or it was a good stadium and the views. I mean, San Diego, it is beautiful. I can't deny that. Oh, no, I no, it was here. They was here actually. Um, oh, okay. But uh, yeah, lower league team. Um, but San Diego is so un underappreciated. I think. Um, I re- I really feel bad because it's it's a real hotbed for soccer in terms of community soccer club soccer youth soccer. It's it's got one of the largest soccer, you know, families. Um more so than here i would say uh so it's more ingrained in their culture even so i I find it kind of sad that they don't have their own you know mls team yet and you have landon nonovan out there so well i do i do want to ask you because you know it may not be the 30th team if ultimately it does go to las vegas um, but as the league expands, like I, I've heard, hey, let's have a 60 team league. And like oh my all these ridiculous numbers are being thrown out, which personally, I don't know how that would work and be like successful trying to like basically make it the NCAA in college athletics with millions of teams all over the place. But I just lost my train of thought on what my question is. Oh, no, I guess. No, no, no. Here it is. I got it back. Do you just ultimately see both of these cities eventually having teams? Uh, I guess. Yes, I do. Mm hmm. I mean, look, Sacramento has has a team now too, so I do. And California is is so large that it, it can sustain that many that many uh, MLS teams. I'd like to see more um, women's teams. Yeah, no, a hundred percent with the NWSL. Um, and that should look. I, I agree with you too. Being here in Las Vegas, I'm going to say this quietly. Um, <laughs> San Diego is underappreciated. Of course, they got the Chargers taken away. They support the Padres and they have plenty of room for professional sports of any kind. Um, and before we get you out of here, just this is your you're the point guard right now. I'm giving you the ball. You you, right. you get the shot. You get to hold the ball for the entire shot clock. Just what can we expect from you this wrong season? With all your coverage. Always the wrong sport. <laughs> I always I'm I'm flexible with everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, but okay, no, wait, I'm sorry. What's the question? What can you what can we expect this season from you in terms of your coverage? Oh, this from my coverage? Uh, well, I'll be covering, uh, I mean, hopefully both teams out here. I'm going to be back and forth. Uh, I'm doing this bi-coastal thing. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, you guys. You'll you'll see me out here hopefully twice a month. Um, definitely trying my best to cover LA Galaxy and LAFC for the Sporting Tribune. And um, 
you know, and uh, my other life is definitely like behind the scenes. So you're not going to see me out there physically, visibly, you know. Oh, snap. This just got like mysterious. Well, OK, look, <laughs> as as long yeah, as no, I'm, I'm a researcher, so you won't really see me on camera. Um, oh, I, I get it. I get, well, look, I will. As long as there's like a bat phone that I can use to call you if we ever need you on the podcast to talk soccer, as long as that's still available. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll be writing. I'll be writing about LA soccer as long as I can. So mm -hmm. there it is. Well, as always, be sure to follow her at Shandrima Tweets. It is right. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this right with the video. It's going to be that way right down here <laughs> go follow her on twitter um and as always shandrima thank you so much for joining us thank you so much adrian thanks for having me